Hello, Marvel Hotline. Hi, this is Rick Remender, and you're listening to Marvel Hotline. Today we're talking about Punisher Annual Number One. But yeah, working on on Punisher and Spider-Man, you know, duking it out. You know, Spider-Man's in a situation when oh, it's his first encounter with with Leith and Lascivious. Letha has opened up his, uh, you know, the, the lizard core of his brain and made him go feral. So all of the animosity and anger he feels towards Frank, you know, and Frank's methods, he doesn't have anything, you know, holding him back anymore. There's no intellectual sort of process. It's just straight up anger and I'm going to take you out. When Axel said he wanted it to be something important and special, and he, you know, he wasn't kidding. He got, you know, Jason Pearson and Dave Stewart to come in and, and uh, make make artwork. And boy, it's uh, it's phenomenal. Everybody brought a game on this thing. I repeat this endlessly. The artists basically dictate so much of the story because you're you're putting in their hands a lot of you know they're the director, they're the actors, they're basically the entire film crew and the cast. And so in somebody's you know like Jason's hands, it's perfect and it's smooth. I could you could literally take all the text off of it and you would still be able to get the, the gist of the story. Um, and and that ultimately is the is the hallmark of somebody who knows what they're doing when it comes to sequential art. Thanks for listening. This is Rick Remender, and this is Marvel, your universe. Thanks for calling. Check back next week for more Marvel Hotline. Marvel, your universe.